boy, this is a pretty one. This is a pretty house, but are you even allowed to buy it? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Guys, and today I'm working with my man, Jay. Jay, last night you told me uh, you wanted to make offers on two properties. I just shot you the video for the first one. That was an East Cleveland dud. Not going to work, brother. And this one looks nice, and it's got a lot more promise, okay? As far as the neighborhood is concerned, not a bad neighborhood at all. 16911 Walden Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44128. Just put on the market six days ago for $67,000. And it's a nice property, but, brother, we got a problem. The seller is HUD, okay? The seller's HUD, and they hate you, dude. They don't like you, Jay. They don't like investors. They don't like you. They don't like me. They don't like everybody else watching the show. As a matter of fact, they don't like us so much. You as investors are not allowed to buy this property right now. Now, the way HUD usually does it, they have what's called a first look period. It's usually, oh, it's been a while. I think it's about 21 days, right? 21 days, you're not allowed to bid on this house as investors. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get owner-occupants into the neighborhood. They want owner-occupants to buy the houses. So, Jay, they don't want your money, brother. They don't want my money. They don't want anybody else watching this money. If it goes past the first look period, then investors like us are allowed to buy it. Now, if you go to the website called hudhomestore.com, H-U-D-H-O-M-E-S, store.com, it will show you when the house is actually made available for investors to bid. At that time, Jay, if it hasn't already been bought by an owner-occupied buyer, you could bid. Now, there's a lot of intricacies going along with buying a HUD house. The first I will explain as we cruise through the photos, right? And this is a big one, dude. This is a big one. Like the house, it looks great on the outside. Everything is nice. And, and from a distance, the property looks nice. Like from this shot, it looks pretty much rent ready, but I do not believe that to be the case. Now, listing agents, their job is to sell the property. They're going to take photos that make the property look you know, as nice as possible. But if you really hammer down and, and look at things closely, you could start to see defects or issues uh, that are going to let us know that we have to fix things, okay? As soon as I find some, I will show them to you. Like this one is a good one, right? Like this room right here, we got red staining here, red staining here, staining there, staining right there, right? You could even see some scuffs and, and, and issues on the wall, right? Now, from afar, in a low-pixel uh, picture like this, you know, these rooms, they look good. The carpet, it looks good, right? The listing agent, you know, they're usually not trying to highlight the big-ass stains on the floor, guys. So if they see a stain, they're probably going to take the photos. But here, they weren't able to mask them. So we see some issues. So I don't think you're going to be able to get away with uh, not redoing the floors, right? So you got a couple grand you're going to spend there, right? And here's the big one, right? This is the biggest issue when you're buying homes from HUD, okay? The utilities get turned off. They do not turn them back on for you when you want to do your inspections, right? So the water is off. That's what this blue painter's tape means. The water is off to the house. It's telling you that there as well. So when you do your inspection, you're going to have to go in with limited information, right? You're not going to be able to have the inspector make sure all these things work. So does your hot water tank work? The gas goes off too, right? Does your furnace work? Things of that nature. We're not going to know that. On top of that, we got a dated vanity, dated uh, mirror, okay? So that you got to keep that in mind. This room, as you see right here, it's totally jacked up, right? This one's all jacked up. So you got to do cosmetic reno here, right? So a cosmetic reno should be... Uh, expected everywhere. I'm going to show you something else too. Back in this kitchen, right? You know, we got a dishwasher right here. 
Could that have faced issues when the heat and the water went off, right? Could there be issues with that? You can't check that right now, right? So with all that said, Jay, what you need to understand is, in my opinion, this property is about $20,000 away from being rent ready. And there's going to be some unknowns. And you're not going to be able to figure out those unknowns till after you buy the house, after you turn on all your utilities, right? So thinking 20 k is a fair estimate, but it could be more. And as far as price goes, I think you're going to have to buy this at 65 That means you're all in for 85 now, if you run the numbers, you should be able to get a Section 8 tenant uh, into this property. It's two bed, one bath. You should be able to get a Section 8 tenant in there at 900 a month or 10800 a year, which after the normal reasonable uh, performance expectations, it's a pretty decent little uh, blue-collar neighborhood. You should be netting out fifty nine seventy six for the year. With your eighty five k investment, that's a 7 cap and a 9.7 percent cash on cash return factoring in your upfront costs of 16,250 for a down payment on a loan and that 20k reno right the numbers are not great they're not amazing you might be thinking well james why you want me to pay 65k to have such a a low number can't we do better like all into a $900 rental for 80k don't usually have better properties yes as a matter of fact I do so if I were you Jay I'd probably pass on this one the reason I put 65k is because I believe that's the price you're gonna have to pay I be I well first of all I believe it's probably gonna sell during the owner occupied period I mean it's more or less it's a nice house do I think it's gonna be set up to to be a nice house as a profitable rental investment probably not right but you guys gotta remember these houses, we as investors use them as investment vehicles. We use them as a business. They're not built to make people like me rich, to make people like you rich. That's not the purpose of these houses, and that's not what the seller is intending to do right now. They're supposed to house families, right? People are, you know, the American dream. You own the home, right? So as an investment, I, I don't think it's going to be the greatest investment because you have to pay that high price, right? I think, A, it's probably going to go during the owner-occupied period. But if it does somehow pass the owner-occupied period and it's allowed to be sold to investors, you can't lowball HUD, right? It doesn't work that way. They don't. You can't just be like 40 k and they don't go, yeah or no. There's really not a decision maker, okay? They go off of a formula based upon X amount of dollars off that list price, right? So if you, if you want to get any traction here, 65 would have to be your bid. But again, I think you'd be all in at 85 And uh, would it be the worst deal in the history of the world? No, probably not. But I don't see the point of you taking on that unnecessary risk to be on the much, you know, the very high end uh, of money into one of these deals. It would be a very, very moderate deal. You, would go, you won't go broke, right? Will you go broke? No. But we can do a lot better, right? So the last package you purchased for me, you just purchased that three-pack. Did that yesterday. You sent me these two. I thumbs down both of them. You got one left. If you'd like, you could send me a property. Uh, or I can go out. I could find you something. I could definitely do better than this one. Up to you. Just let me know in the private email I sent you below. And hey, or in the private email that I sent you this video. And hey, everybody else, what I said, what I want to say to you guys is, if you want to work with me like Jay, you could go ahead and click the show notes below for more information. Or to keep it simple, just send my team an email: sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. We will talk about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.